Hello friends. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple but tasty ginger, turmeric, peppercorn pickle. So we're going to do it in a small jar, a half pint. We need a plastic lid. The way that we prepare our ginger, you can see I've already got it peeled. And the way we prepare it to get it just right every single time is with just a peeler. We don't have to cut anything. We simply peel our way to done. Best part about easy is it makes the recipe happen. Because your success is the most important thing in getting a recipe to work well for you and easily. Look at that. That's what we want to see is nice big pieces like that. And it slices off those nice ginger steaks. And then it does little thin ones. And that's pretty nice. Now it's fun when you take those little tips off. All gone. Turned into food. Sometimes they're a little bit hard to get through and you just saw your way through it. Whee! Awesome. Let's not let you get away. We need enough to give volume to all of the dry ingredients that we're going to add. The peppercorns need to soak up a lot of water. Same for the turmeric because it's been dehydrated. We're doing this recipe like a pickle, so it'll be a 5% brine. And we can leave little pieces like these whole. So we'll put that out of the way and take our little pieces and leave them whole. Get them into the jar. Oops. Now the first thing we want to do before we get these into our jar is make sure our peppercorns are ground. They're always good whole, but not today. And we're just using organic, ground, dehydrated turmeric. The salt we use is fine grain sea salt. Fine grain, dehydrated sea salt. So what we want to do is put one in. Like that. You can see I overdid it on the peeling. It gets to be kind of fun. So we just fill it up well. And we're going to put another scoop of one tablespoon and another scoop like that. And then one tablespoon of salt. Don't worry about mixing it up. That doesn't really matter. You'll see why. You'll see why. So we pour our water on very slowly. Oops. All the mixing happens in the jar. And uh, when you shake it, it's going to mix up on its own. You don't have to do any stirring or any mixing. It's already almost perfect in there. So we can check on it, make sure it has enough water, which it doesn't. With this kind of ferment, you don't have to worry about leaving the lid cracked. It's not big enough to make enough gas to worry about. There you go. We'll check on it in a couple of few days.